Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Munsell. This is Communicating Today. We've been on Channel 10 for a long, long time, over 20 years, well over 600 programs. We have a very special program for you tonight because when I saw this beautiful cooking set that Channel 10 designed and built for us about six months ago, spending well over fifty or sixty thousand dollars to do it, I said to myself, one of these days we're going to do a cooking show on this beautiful set. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, today and tonight is the time when we're going to do that show, and we've even given it a special name. We're going to call it the Gourmet Chef, is the name of this little segment that we're doing on Communicating Today tonight. And to do this program, we have a very, very special guest, this gentleman who's standing right alongside of me here. His name is Jacques Herringer. He happens to be a master chef. He happens to own a beautiful French-style restaurant right here in Great Falls, Virginia, in Northern Virginia called La Berge Chez Francois. Whoa, you, 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 you will really see that name <laughs> coming up many times during the course of our show. And uh, welcome to our program, Great Jacques. to have you. So nice Great. to, Thank you nice so to have you on our show. Me. And uh, I know you've got uh, some uh, wonderful uh, cooking experiment that you're going to be doing demonstration for us That's tonight right. on our show, on our premiere very first show on Gourmet Chef. And you want to tell us what you're going to specialize in for tonight? I am honored to be here, first of all, on the, very, on the maiden gourmet show, if you will. We're going to do chocolate truffles, les truffes au chocolat. Oh, by the way, en the, en France, the oh. French accent is only for the paying customers. Okay. Uh, normally, I didn't bring my... Yeah, yeah I see so I that there, I... right. So we're going to... Make, with Mother's Day coming up, I thought this is something that even you, sir, can make in your kitchen for mom. Even me. Even, I'm even, all thumbs. Even and... vous. All right. We're going to take two-thirds of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. 40% butter fat. You know you want it. We're going to bring it to a boil. Low calories. Lo always. Yeah. Who's counting? Right. Yeah, that's right. right. At a you time know, in, like this. In France, we say, où y a de la gêne, y a pas de plaisir. Where you have, if you're worried about it, you, it can't be fun. You can't be <laughs> pleasurable. So sit down, relax. We're going to bring that cream to a boil, two-thirds of a cup. And then I'm going to put a 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate into the boiling cream and then take it off the fire, take it off the heat right away and just yeah. melt that and that is called a ganache. A it's what? your a ganache. Ganache. It's, it's a base recipe. Ganache. Yes, you can use it for, uh, for instance, to make truffles with, mm -hmm. which we're going to do. You can use it for frostings or cake fillings. You can put it into eclairs, for instance. It's a typical uh, base, uh, base recipe that we use in French cuisine. So we're going to make that and just, just um, melt the chocolate into the cream. Okay, there we have it about there. there. Then, in our case, since we want to make the truffe au chocolat au grand manier, we are going to put a little grand manier into the chocolate. And naturally, we have to taste it, John, uh -oh. to make sure it's good. Okay, it's a John. dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. You're the so boss on this one. Here okay, we go. Here we go. We're going to put some there. Okay. Now, as I tell all my classes, if you put it in a glass and try it, some people might think that you're <gasps> drinking. But if you put it in a bowl, <laughs> even a large bowl, well, of course, you're simply tasting. tasting. You're simply tasting. And, so and we're now, gonna, at this point, we're you gonna and I are going to have to we're taste this. We're going to have to taste this. Uh, bon appetit. Here we go. Whoa. Good stuff, Boy, right? That's good stuff. All right, we're going to put some. I know this is going to be a good A couple of ounces. In, <laughs> we're off on the right foot, we're folks. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to put two ounces into our 12 ounces of chocolate. He's and not two a master chef a cup. for nothing, folks. All right. Here and he goes. Then we're going to let that cool. You can put it in the refrigerator. And when it's cooled, it, it becomes your ganache base mm -hmm. right here. I'm Keep having a going. good time here. Okay. Have a little bit more. Well, don't stop now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You could also use kirsch. Or you could American as I, Americanize it, if you will. You could put bourbon in it. You could put uh, some other liqueurs yeah. or schnapses that you like. You not know. champagne. No, nah. 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 you need, you need a I liquor. Know. You need I'm a not liquor. A chef. You're chef. We may have some champagne well, later to have go with the truffles. Ooh I like la la. It. This is getting better, la la. And better all the time. I don't know about your mom. My mom is going to be 95. <laughs> is that right? In November. She comes up to the restaurant every day. Takes no medication. Trust me, she has two glasses of champagne uh -huh. with her meal every day. Right. What does that tell you? I don't know. She's Drink a... more champagne. That's <laughs> what it tells you. <laughs> she's a terrific lady, that's for sure. If she's your mom, she's terrific, Jack. That's well, for sure. And it, dinner better be good when she comes up, too. Otherwise, I hear about it. <laughs> I'll tell you. So we've chilled the ganache. Okay. We're going to dip our, we'll use a melon baller to scoop it out. We're going to dip it in hot water and just scoop it out like this. Ooh. Right. 
And then let me just move this over to the side because if I don't, there won't be any left by the end of the show with you over there. We're going to put it into, if I can get this to work here. <coughs> get a little see, jerky. There, there we go. There We're we going to go. put it into, that, into like some, some powdered, powdered sugar, sugar. Powdered sugar. Okay. And then we take it, it out and, bit. yeah, just kind of make it into a smooth ball. Make it into a smooth ball. You know, um, cooking's like love. It's messy sometimes. Yeah, there know, you go. You know, know. you know what I'm saying. So we're going to put that into melted chocolate. Oh, wow. Okay, so Excellent. we have our ganache, our Gaumagnier flavored ganache. It is chilled. We're going to scoop it out, put it into the confectioner's sugar, and then coat it with a little melted chocolate, the same semi-sweet chocolate, right? Pretty soon the powdered sugar has disappeared. It has disappeared. With chocolate. The reason you really put the powdered sugar on is so it doesn't stick all over your hands. Really. Right, that's good. And then we're going to take that and put it into... Cocoa powder. Let me get a fresh one. And you're gonna move it around. And move it around, powder. and you want to coat it get with coated. the cocoa powder. Now, right. why is it called a truffle? A, a real truffle, the real fungus, the the black truffle, is uh, looks well, somewhat like this. So they, decide, well, they made a, these with this chocolate. Is a, this is a brown truffle. So it's a, tr it's a brown truffle. Yeah. It's a summer truffle, I guess. The other ones are dark. There's all there's all sorts of different. All kinds of different. There's all kinds truffles. of different colors and strength and the the best ones come from europe there are some from all over the planet but most of them don't have that wonderful flavor oh, that the french and italian truffles do especially the alsatian ah the alsatians ah, yes and where papa was from that's now it. you put it into we're going to put the yeah a little shaker here going to shake, shake it, some we're going to shake some of the excess and i think i left it in there too long because it's partially melted but anyway you'll see that it's not the best Put that, form if you that's will the finished product. that's the finished product and when it dries when it cools a little bit it'll be a little bit more uh, here circular. A little bit more circular if you don't leave it in there you know what that's the problem is tasting the Grand Marnier too long we left it in here yeah, that's, that's yeah. the problem that's so, terrific so then job. we uh, and th this is the kind of uh, one of the many different kinds of desserts that you serve at that wonderful restaurant of yours. We serve the Beurre Chez Francois. We serve it at in the Great end Falls, of ladies and gentlemen, in Virginia. You got to get out there one of these days. And I'm sure a lot of the folks watching our program now have been to that restaurant, and you know what I'm talking about. And because it originally uh, Jacques was in downtown D.C. It was a block from the White House. A block from the White House, Connecticut Avenue. We've served every president since Truman. We haven't had the honor of. The present but president, we, we have a little bit more time, the so Rock hopefully been there they will come out. But he's hopefully. got another three and a half years to go, I exactly. guess, or I'm, more than that. I'm going to try this one more time and see if we can get a better shape. Let's see. And the uh, then you, a were, hot. you were there. You started in 1954, I believe. We did. We, we were there for about 20 years, and then you know, I guess something happened with the lease. And you had well, to get tore out down of the location. block. They tore down the whole they block. They tore down the block and reconstruction, right. the we, whole thing. We were in the Claridge Hotel, and next to us was the Peace Corps. Okay. So we saw the Kennedys quite often. Oh, uh, my God. The Peace Corps group, they would come upstairs to happy hour. I guess you could have happy hour in those days. I'm not sure anymore. And they would eat all the canapes and have like a beer or two between them. We, we helped out the Peace Corps. These okay? multimillionaires, <laughs> they, oh, that's anything right. they get, get for nothing or get for free, and that's what they would do. And then... When you when you when you, they tore down the, that neighborhood and remodeled that area, then you had to move someplace, and you decided to come out to the countryside well, Dad, here in Northern Virginia and Great Falls. Dad, when he was an apprentice in France in Alsace, was an apprentice in a country inn in Kaisersburg. It's the same city that Albert Schweitzer was born in, oh. in L'Hôtel Chambard, and he oh. always wanted to do the country inn thing, yeah. and so he bought a country store at the time. There was a uh, actually there was an antique shop on one side. That entrance which you'll see later, was a little gun shop, and then one side was a deli. You know, watering cans, rakes, hams, and deli sandwiches, and we bought that in the early 70s. Right. Uh, and I was in France around that time for a while, and then when I came back, uh, we uh, remodeled and opened Le Belle Chez Francois in 76. I was 10 then. Would you believe 12? John, <laughs> come on. Now, I understand, and I, I, looked at, I looked on the Internet recently, and before we did the show, I was trying to catch up and get a little bit of information, background information on you, Jacques. And I saw something in there that when you had opening night in 1976, you were hoping and praying that all the people that used to frequent your uh, restaurant downtown when it was close to the White House, a lot of those people would come all the way out to the French and uh, Virginia countryside, and you were hoping that you'd get a big turnout. As a matter of fact, you thought, well, maybe not too many people are going to come out. So, as a matter of fact, you want to, you want to, you want to finish Dad, that story? Dad overbooked it. He couldn't say no to all. It. Way overbooked it. And you, we bought enough food and supplies to take care of maybe one seating. Yes. But what happened was that when, uh, more people came than you thought were going to come, and you didn't have any, you ran out of food, 
And you were thinking, oh my God, we don't have enough food to feed the second seating and the third seat. What are we going to tell these people, these wonderful customers that have been coming to our restaurant for so many years, and all of a sudden an electrical storm came up, it rained cats and dogs, lightning, and the power went out, and you came we out and told the people. sent everybody home. Sent everybody home, folks. A among them was... We don't have any power, we can't feed you. George Allen, the coach of the Redskins, was among them. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Never forget that night. That, and, and it'll be our 37th anniversary on the 20th of this month. Right. So April 20th will be our 37th anniversary in Great Falls. Wow. And then in 2014, it'll be our 60th anniversary Next between year. downtown and Great Falls. Starting way back in 1954. 54. And I know that somewhere I read that you've had either all or many of the presidents. Just about all of them. They weren't I, always president at the time. Sometimes it was after they were president or before they became president. Yeah, yeah. So we've wonderful? had them all since Truman. And international dignitaries and ambassadors kings and, queens and kings and queens. And just plain folks. How about it, uh, the location out here in Great Falls, your Great new location? Same. Still getting the celebrities Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Any, any presidents been to the Great yes. Falls? Yes, the Reagans. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ronnie was out here. Oh, and absolutely. Nancy? Nancy came out several times. Oh, that's big time. She celebrated her birthday there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Folks, I'm telling you, these, these guys, it's, my wife and I have been to your restaurant many times, uh, Jacques, because we live in Great Falls. My wife and I live about 10 minutes from your beautiful restaurant, and we've been there many times and brought our friends there. But we had one problem when we first moved. We moved to Great Falls around 1980, about four, five, six years after you opened your restaurant in Great Falls. Right. And when we first came, we found out that somebody told us there's a terrific restaurant uh, at Le Berger Francois, and I said, you ought to go there and have dinner. And so we called your restaurant, and we said, we'd like to come over tomorrow night, or maybe it was the next night. And they said, are you kidding? you got to call us two weeks in advance. We don't take reservations in less than two weeks. I said, this must be a pretty fancy place. And then I guess that's pretty much, you're, you're, well, so, those, darn, no, you're those so darn days, busy there. Those days are over. I mean, yeah. Two we weeks. Call we, a couple days to, ahead of time? Maybe. It's not better on not the to. weekends. You better book. You better book well ahead on the weekends. But during the week, yeah. see, everyone wants to come on Saturday night or Friday night. They go, yeah. but it's my birthday, yeah. and I go because I can do this. I go, is it really your birthday Saturday night? <laughs> and they go, me. they go, no, it's actually Wednesday, but we're celebrating <laughs> on Wednesday. Night. Well, I can't, I can't help you on Saturday. Can you come on Wednesday night? You right, know what right. I mean? But it's like it's like when you go to any good restaurant around town, especially your place out in Great Falls. It doesn't. It, it pays to book uh, maybe a week or uh, ten days or a couple of weeks ahead of time. The last minute. If you know you have a big, yeah, don't do a book at the last minute. I just got the halfway signal, by the way, Jacques uh, from Mary. So we're halfway uh -oh. through the program. Uh oh. But uh, we just keep keep right on moving here. I know that there's something here that you have a famous slogan that love begins in the kitchen. Now that means that you're kind of tying together wonderful cooking, and wonderful food, wonderful chef, wonderful restaurant, and it it brings in thoughts of. Amour. Well, we've been voted What's for many years the most romantic restaurant because oh. we're special occasions, oh, okay. special occasion restaurant, oh. a lot of birthdays, anniversaries, oh. many weddings. You know, the chef is like the captain of a ship. I can marry people, yeah. but yeah. it's only good on the premises. <laughs> <laughs> but we do a lot of weddings, um, birthday celebrations, of course, cooking demonstrations, a lot of client appreciation type. It's a special occasion upstairs, but I've recently opened the brasserie downstairs, which you'll see a picture of later. It's a much more casual concept. Just walk in, no reservations required. Although on a Saturday, you might want to call before you come over. In it's fact, very popular. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I think Beth is back there in the control room. Uh, we have a few pictures of uh, the La Berger Francois, the restaurant that we're talking about here tonight. I think we have about six of them. So Beth, if you'd be nice enough to start put those pictures up on the screen, there's the very first one, and Jacques will comment. When that's, he sees that's the front entrance. Front entrance, front in, sign. The Alsatian girl there, the Alsatian There's lady. There's the name of the restaurant, yes. L'Auberge Chez Francois. Get front entrance, front entrance. L'Auberge, so you're pretty good. <laughs> the front entrance there to L'Auberge, the flowers country on restaurant. Top. Yeah, right. Out, out in the Virginia countryside. There's another in picture. Great Falls. This is the brasserie, which we've recently opened downstairs. Um, and that's good for a quickie more, kind of a I, meal. I, yeah, indeed, and I thought this was a PG uh, show. Oh. But anyway, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Jacques. I didn't realize it. I used the wrong vocabulary. I guess. No quickies on this show. That's for sure. This is for a, le real a stuff. less leisurely meal than upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, bra the brasserie. Jacques, brasserie. Jacques Brasserie, and right next to it is the new bar, Jacques Bar Rouge. Uh, we wanted to one. give it that French 
je ne sais pas quoi la look. Ooh, well, here's yes. another one, That's a, This is the garden the room. room. This is the main dining room, the garden room. This is where we have weddings and yeah. large groups will go into My the My wife and I have eaten there, there several right. times. It's a wonderful, beautiful restaurant. Wonderful food by this man, magnificent chef, oh, I, master chef. Well, we have 80 on staff, so I mean, there's oh, a lot man. of folks. So. They do a lot of the a cooking lot of and folks. preparation and, and so forth. Cooking Here's a fireplace. Place. This is the roost room, the uh, back dining room, which is above the brasserie. We have three working fireplaces. The brasserie is down at the lower level. Right under this room, right? Under here. this room mm -hmm. here. And, and I guess in the cold weather, in the wintertime, you light that fireplace absolutely, up. Absolutely. Nice little warm they fire are, there. It's, warm people the love pussies a fire. up. People love a nice fire. Wonderful. I think that might, is that the last picture, Beth? I guess it is. I think we should, oh no, outdoor. And outdoor the garden, dining. which was just opened on Sunday, was the first day. Typical Washington weather. You go from winter, you have one day of spring, which was Sunday, and we're in summer already today. Right, right. And we don't have much of a spring. We, no, spring no, we never do. About but we have, uh, we have uh, about 40 seats outside. Yeah. And it's very popular in the summer. Now, and that's where we do most of our weddings, actually, outside. Now, actually, I know that you have a garden back behind your wonderful restaurant where you grow a lot of your own greens so that when Tomatoes. somebody comes into your restaurant and, has, and orders a salad before the main course, they're uh, enjoying greens right from your own garden. Tomatoes, and greens, picked. and I shamelessly go out when the restaurant is busy on a summer night and go out and pick out a few things. You know, and then shame, it, shameless self-promotion. And then bring it in and make, and bring make it in and make it Caesar salad, salad or some kind of a French salad or whatever. Or whatever any one of a number of different for, kinds. Last year for two and a half months we, had, we didn't buy a single tomato from, I worked for 36 organic farms. We didn't buy, we didn't source a single tomato, but from our garden. Isn't that wonderful? That's terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, too, by the way, we are going to uh, be putting up their website for the uh, La Berger Francois restaurant. It'll be at the bottom of your screen periodically a number of times during the course of our 30-minute uh, show. So that if you need to contact them, make a reservation, find out more about what's going on in, at the La Berge. By the way, uh, Jacques, uh, I, I know that Chez Francois was a name, your, your dad's name was Francois. That's right. And it was named the House of Francois. Francois's House. Because Francois's House. Right. But what is La Berge, the first Maubert part? Berge means in. Maubert. So downtown it was Chez Francois. Maubert. Right. Francois, my dad was named Francois because he was the first uh, born in his village after World War I when it came back to France. Okay. So he was called Francois because of that. And downtown restaurant was called Chez Francois which was just a block or so from the White House. And then when we moved out, it was more of an inn, although there aren't any rooms yet, although that's Abbey another Rainfalls? project, another project. Oh, my goodness. Maybe. Possibility. Possibility. Es, Exploring es, it now. It's possible. C'est très possible. Oh, 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 oh. I can't French. I'm trying to keep up with this Frenchman here, folks, but uh, he's about 10 steps ahead of me, so. So we are looking into maybe some rooms out there. You got a lot of ground out there. We have six acres. Is that right? I know when I drive by your restaurant every once in a while, when we're not going in there for dinner, which we do frequently, is I see that parking lot that you have there. I see nothing but literally hundreds of cars parked. Wow. I see these guys are doing pretty good. No, don't let the truth. My publisher always said, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. I mean, there are many cars. and anyway, <laughs> We should crack up. Aren't, aren't you getting a little dry? I am. We should crack up. As a matter champagne. of fact, I think It goes I am. great with the truffles. You know, okay, we, should, we twist that we should tell, we, we, we need to celebrate our 37th anniversary. We hope you'll come out. I, oh, that sound. That sounds <laughs> terrific. Wow. Let me get another. Here you are. I'll pour this. For, whoop. There you Here's go. For you. Okay. We're going to make a little, a little toast. Celebratory here. toast. Because, you know, everything in life is celebrated with good food and wine. So. Right. Here's to. A la bonne vote. Here's to love in the kitchen, which is what happens at the La Berge Chez Francois restaurant here in Great Falls, Virginia, folks. Wonderful. And we appreciate it so much, uh, Jacques, that you're on our program tonight. You're doing a wonderful job here on these chocolate de truffes. Mm. Truffles in F on C. <clears throat> there we go. Down the hatch. Here we go. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. And I got it. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, watching our program, you saw some, you see some beautiful flower arrangements. They're here behind uh, Jacques and I and up here on the front of our uh, counter here. They were provided by the Mayflowers, a floral studio in the downtown Reston Town Center. A couple of lovely ladies came out here and they looked at our set and designed these special flowers just for us, for Jacques and I. And they were May Bernhardt and Wendy Pahanka, the very nice ladies that came out and uh, did these flower displays for us. Thank you, ladies, 
We really appreciate it, and we're putting their website up also so that you can find out more about what, the, what they do is from the flower standpoint. And you're you offering think? me a try chocolate, one? Uh, chocolate, chocolate. Ladies and gentlemen, right from the hand of, of Jacques Hellinger, Master Chef at the Le Berger Francais restaurant in Great Falls, Virginia, down the hatch. Mm. Mm. Right, they are good. Mm. And we actually box them up and sell them by the pound, which would be great for Mother's Day. Folks, you don't know what you're missing. Is it, is it proper to wash it down with uh, uh, May we. Huh? May we? May we. May we. Okay, shall do. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, um, a little more? A little more. Hey, hey, that's terrific. Okay. And I want to thank my wife, too, ladies and gentlemen, because this whole program came about because my wife saw that our guest for tonight's show, Jacques Herringer, was going to be giving a demonstration at the... Um, Methodist Church in Great Falls, Georgetown Pike, back in February. And she said, you might want to go to that demonstration, John, and see Jacques perform, because it may be there's a possibility if you're going to be doing your first cooking show, which is what we're doing tonight, you might be able to ask Jacques if he'd be interested in being a guest, the first guest on our first cooking show. So I did. I followed my wife's instructions, Dee. Thank you, Dee. Went to the Don't demonstration. Don't you always follow her instructions? Always. Oh, that's the big boss. Hi, big boss. I went there and saw your demonstration at the uh, beautiful Methodist Church in Great Falls. Did a terrific job in demonstrating uh, on that particular program. And I went up to him afterwards, ladies and gentlemen, I said, Jock, I said, I do a local TV show on Channel 10, Fairfax Cable, called Communicating Today. Would you like to be a guest on our first cooking? He said three words, Jean, I'm in. That's the kind of guy this guy is, and he doesn't fool around when he means business. When he says something, and by golly, he's here tonight, and we're so proud and we're so lucky and so happy to have well, you, John. We really are honored Terrific. to be on the show. And You're on the first great. cooking, the first gourmet chef show. We appreciate it. Yeah, not only that, but you've been on national TV quite a bit. I know that we were talking before the show on uh, the Today Show. On the Today Show nine times. At the, the Kathy Talk Lee different one. Uh, Kathy yeah. Lee. Well, sometimes I was on the different, different, the first hour. The hours. last three or four times we've been on with Hoda Eight, and Kathy how many, Lee. How many times? Nine. Oh, nine, nueve, or no, 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 we were on the talk recently, Fox uh, weekend, we've been uh, blessed to be on a number of shows, I had my own cooking show on PBS called Two for Tonight, which has just come Based out on, your book. on DVD, on love, the, the idea that love begins in the kitchen, right, right, uh, romantic recipes for two, it's the companion volume to our Two for Tonight cookbook, right. and um, that'll, we're actually every month now on on our website, which we've just redone, we're going to put, we're going to post one of the shows. Well, that's terrific. And uh, then also, you're on the History Channel. Right. We did a pilot channel. for them for right. a, a barbecue. I did a barbecue show. What does a French chef know about barbecue? Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, right? I can imagine uh, by any indication of what we're doing here today with this terrific guest of ours, ladies and gentlemen, Jacques Herringer, La Verche Francois, beautiful French restaurant here in the, the French. In I guess you could almost say the French countryside, but it's the northern Virginia countryside in Great Falls, Virginia. You've got to come out here sometime and see these guys at this fair. They've been around since 1954 when they first started in downtown D.C., as we mentioned before. Not many restaurants have been around 60 years. And anybody who's been anybody in this area uh, is what is, it's all about. So basically, now I'm getting all these hand signals. Look over here to Peter. Hi, Peter. Here we are <laughs> on number one. All right. Another, another little toast here. Hey, we got to have another. Hey, come on, Jacques. Let's down the hatch. And I, I, good I looked, food, good friends, good wine. I, I mean, what more could we ask for? I, right? looked, I looked on the uh, Wikipedia to find us some more, get some more information about you before you came on the show. You like to hunt and fish. We do. You like to go to St. Bart's for recreation. Oh, yeah. In the, uh, Carol and I, my lady Carol and I, yeah. uh, we were there. Oh, by the way, Carol and Carol, hey, hi. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Deborah. Deborah, good to see you. Deborah Hassan. Deborah Hassan was wonderful, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Jacques' personal assistant with this cooking show. She's been unbelievably wonderful in helping us to set up this program. Thank you so much, Deborah. We really appreciate it. And welcome aboard. And a good friend of mine over there, um, uh, O'Brien, the, 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 the folk singer. He, he's a guest in our studio audience. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, trained, in, trained in Paris as a chef for a while. And then worked in my dad's place when I was starting at 11 in the summer. And okay. then uh, after I graduated, I went to VCU here. Okay. I have a degree in English. You need one to be a French chef now. 
<laughs> and then went to France and worked there yeah. for a year. Worked downtown at, I don't know if you remember Jean-Pierre, Tiberio, the International Club, worked at a bunch of restaurants oh, downtown wonderful. between the old place and, and the new place. Yeah, and then the, uh, the, the, the section of the country is uh, in France is... Uh, Dad was from Alsace, which Alsace. is the Rhineland, which is near Strasbourg. Alsace-Lorraine. Alsace-Lorraine. And right. my mother is from the Basque country. Right. She's right. from the southwestern part of France. I yeah. just got the two-minute warning here, Jacques, which means we're going to start thinking about closing down the show here. I hate to think of that thought because we're having so much fun, such a good time, and I know you are and I am. But uh, we have to close the show just like in the football games and the NFL. When, the ref when it gets the two-minute warning, the referee blows his whistle, raises his red flag, he said, gentlemen, it's time. The game is almost over while well, the show is almost over. So we've got to start thinking about closing. Jacques, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci à Master vous chef. and everyone, all the crew that came in to tape the show. We, we the appreciate it. And did such a great job. And Deborah uh, and Carol who and Carol. keep telling me what to do because I can't you know, make these decisions. And the ladies at the Mayflower <laughs> shop in Reston and my wife for uh, setting me on the right path to be able to do this show. And for our very first cooking show, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for watching us. Come back and see us again sometime, Jacques. We appreciate it. And we will see you over at the La Berge Chez Francois, beautiful French restaurant in Great Falls. And we always go out on our show by saying, keep on communicating for success and for wonderful restaurants like La Berge Chez Francois and a wonderful special guest on our program today, Jacques Herringer. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Jacques. Appreciate it. Wonderful. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, in the pas de quoi. Hey, I knew that. <laughs> okay, much. Hey, you, I, I got you that. know you're good. You sure you don't need I, any part time work on the weekend? I remember that from my high school French class. That's all I remember. I could, I, use a pas de quoi. I could use a maitre d' on Saturday night. What do you think? I don't know. It's, it's possibility. <laughs> we'll see you all next week, folks. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you at the La Verge Chez Francois. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>